All right, what's up, y'all? The sun is back out. So, yeah, go enjoy the outside. I'm talking to the camera with this mic. Um, it's going to change when I get into this setup. Anyway, I hope y'all doing great. Haven't posted in a long time. If you don't count the vlog. Um, today, we're going to break down this bass house drop. <laughs> The BPM here is 135, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get right into it. A good place to start is to find some sort of melodical element, like strings, like swells, something like this. This really creates a vibe and you can find something like this on Splice, even on free loop websites. There's places for all of this. Hell, you can sample something from YouTube. If you manipulate it enough using some tools like Grossbeat or Dumpster Fire, Absolutely sick, by the way. You should check it out. You can get it for free, or you can get it for five, ten, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. You decide the price. It's pretty sick. Now, what I did with this, I actually chopped it up and add a side chain to that. Add some strings on top of that, and from there, you might want to add some vocals. Now go ahead and go crazy with the melodical elements. If you don't like the vibe you're creating, I would say don't spend too much time on it, you know. So I added this like kind of snappy kick from the Barely Live kit on Splice. And I would say it's a very hip hop inspired kick. Quite heavy. But I decided to keep the clap quite snappy and short so I can add layers to it. For me, when you're at like 135 BPM, you can really mess around with the snare and clap mix because I've mixed some snares and claps. The clap, I would say, is still 80% of the actual hit. There's my signature loop um, that I've actually chopped up a bit. A lot of groove on that, as you can see, and I've, I think I've actually panned it to the left and right at different speeds to give like a space. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. But obviously don't pan everything to the left and right. You gotta have reason to pan stuff. So I was having some fun. I don't normally make bass lines like this. So this consists very heavily distorted 808. With white noise. It's like 90% of the sound. And uh, a sub under that. Because obviously this is no longer clean. And then with the sub, I had a clean sub frequency. That allows me to separate the two and I can add uh, spatial dimensioning on the, you know, on the, that sound. Uh, and then I actually also added this. I don't know what you call it, kind of like an acid sound to accentuate the 808 pattern. So if I take away this up. But actually, in the actual pattern itself, I've used an effector, a ring modulator in the effector. And obviously another effector for uh, creating some transient, uh, well, it's basically like chopping it. Pause one second, my computer is freezing up. So one trick, is, is probably many things you can do, but one trick that I figured out whenever my computer is lagging, so when I'm recording these videos, I put up my buffer length a bit. This means there's more time between me pressing play and it will coming through. But I think in that time, it will ease the load on the CPU. So let's try. So one trick that I like to share with y'all today right here, make your claps and snares really clean especially in the higher end of the spectrum because in the mix no matter what you'll do to it you want to hear your claps same goes for your hats and i would say right here my hats are not loud enough so when you're wondering what makes a skrillex song so loud and clean 
I would actually say Skrillex songs are not usually that loud. It's just his high end is very crisp. And if you go back way to his like older songs, I would even say, even though he's the GOAT, I would say his songs aren't super, super loud, especially way back. Some of the bass, the low and the bass in his older songs, way older songs, they kind of don't match up to date with today's loudness. So yeah, I'm going to play it through once more and I hope you all um, enjoyed this video. So yeah, that was that guys, really appreciate y'all checking out this video, if you do like my content, be sure to subscribe, like the video, or watch any of the other videos. I do have a Discord community if you want to join it, talk to me, talk to my buddies, talk to the community of this channel, Marigold of Gekko Join it, have some fun, we're chilling, we're sharing samples, peace out.